Thank you all for the nice comments and everything that you guys have given me on the videos I've been doing. I recently got a request to for some help with a problem in uh, RD Works. Um, it was a specific font that was being used, but the letters weren't joining up properly. So I have gotten the name of the font and downloaded it and installed it. And you can I'm going to zoom in here and you can see the problem that's being had right here. In this case, the letter A in family is going into the letter M. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can actually fix this. One method has to do with adding some of the settings in the actual font dialog. Now, I've left this one grouped so that I can double click on it and get to the, some of the font settings. Now, if you look right up here, you can adjust the character space a little bit. So what I'm going to do in this case right here, I'm going to adjust the character space to point o, or to point 0.1. And if you watch very carefully in the video, when I click the OK button, this should jump apart a little bit. So at the, this case, we've still got a little bit of overlap here. But you get the idea of how to use that text editing box to do that. However, we have another problem where right here, this one got a little too far apart, so it's not connecting at all. And this one here, the letters seem to be a little bit closer, so they're still overlapping. So no matter what we do, we're going to look like we're going to run into a little bit of a problem with them either not connecting or connecting too much. So the slightly more manual way of doing this is you click on the font and then you go up to edit and then you select ungroup. And at this point, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Y here and I'm going to use my arrow keys to nudge this over a little bit. And if I zoom in, you see I'm not quite connecting yet, so I can nudge it a little bit more. You might have to click it and drag it with the mouse. Because we can't just do it, seem to do a very good nudge line by line. So I'm going to nudge that over so that it's just barely touching. Now I also need to fix the L. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and click the L at the same time. And I'm going to nudge that one over so that it's just barely touching. And I go, f go over and do that on each of the letters until I have them looking how I want them to look. Now to the M. And now, if we actually go into the preview mode, you can see that they actually look like they're fairly well joined. And finally, the third way that I know how to do this is to click on, for example, the letter L, and we're going to go up to the Edit Node tool here. I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to delete some of these curves, such as this one right here. I'm going to zoom in a little more so you can see what I'm doing. So I got rid of the overlapping curves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these curved lines here so it basically matches up with the outside of the letter Y. This is a little bit more time, takes a little bit more time. I double click there to add another node so that I can get around this curve a little easier. And you just kind of have to tweak it a little bit until you get the curve to line up how you want it. And so I'm going to just show you on that one. Now you remember before, this curve went all the way out into here. 
So now if I go into my preview screen, you can see that the L and the Y are nicely joined. So those are the ways that I have found so far to fix that kind of a font problem in uh, RD Works. It can be a little bit easier to do this in Corel Draw, which I'll show here as well as soon as we're doing this. So I have a new blank document. I'm going to select the font and that's this one right here. I know it's a little tiny, but I'm going to change the font size here in a moment. The slightly larger font. And in Corel Draw, apparently this is not a problem at all. So I'm just going to change the fill color and go into outline mode. And I guess it does overlap a little bit here too. So what we can do in, in Corel is you can right click, convert it to curves. Oh, the one thing I forgot to do, I need to break the curve apart so that each curve is a separate item. So then I would go into the Weld tool. Now that I have each of these items as separate entities, I'm going to sit there and click on the Y first and weld it to the L. Now if I unselect, you can see it automatically joined everything right there. So we'll just do the same thing going over. And at this time, we have no more separate entities, um, no overlapping lines. Thanks, Kelly, for the suggestion for the video.